Hey, good evening, everybody. It is uh, May 30th, and I'm about to do my May 31st video watch list for Trick Trades chat room and screen share. So let's get into it. Uh, we have a, a couple good ones. I, I feel pretty confident about today's. Yesterday's watch list uh, proved to be actually really good, even though I wasn't uh, I wasn't feeling it too too much. Um, oh, I gotta add one more before I forget. Okay, so we'll get into it again as usual. You know the story. They're in really no particular order. I kind of uh, give more of a focus list uh, in the morning. FENX uh, kind of popped up towards the end of the day. And if you look at the daily here, it broke over the 20 SMA. And uh, it's 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 also has broke out of this, this fairly long downtrend um, uh, trend line. And uh, if we can get a continuation tomorrow, this this should go. It, it should pop a little bit, you know. Even though it's been on, <laughs> it's been on a fucking downtrend since almost day one of its history here. Like, look at that. That's hilarious, right? But it is breaking out of that, and that's that's all that matters. You have to you have to respect trend, right? So if we can get a uh, a continuation play, either an opening range breakout or a red to green. Uh, that'll that'll be awesome. So TIVO, uh, I kind of missed the short late day uh, when it when it started breaking down. That would have been a nice entry. Uh, we'll just kind of have to see what's going on with it. If it starts gapping down pre market, then then we have a play. RYAM, I ended up having a, a nice little short trade on it, uh, fa fairly quick, but that was fine. I uh, made a little bit of money on it on my small account, so I was very happy with that. Uh, so I'll definitely be watching short uh, in the morning. Uh, if you if you look at the daily here, I mean it's it's coming right up into resistance. Uh, it's went straight up uh, for the past few days. Uh, it's not I'm not saying it's going to come right back down to lows, but it def it's it needs a pullback. It definitely needs a pullback. SORL, you can tell here that it has broken out of the flag. Uh, so I'm looking for a, a nice continuation. I really feel that this is going to magnet to 10. I thought we were actually going to get it today, but uh, it started, uh, there started being quite a bit of sellers uh, kind of knocking it back down. So uh, we'll be watching that short tomorrow. TRUP, uh, again, this is, um, uh, I'll, be, I'll be watching for a short. It's, uh, it's went from, you know, 17, it's moved $3 without a pullback. You know, and, and if you look at the chart history, it's it's usually two or three days and then a pullback. So well, we might get it tomorrow. Price action definitely has sped up than, than what the norm is. So I'll be watching short for that. AMRI, same thing. Um, either we get the, two, I, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm kind of 50-50 on this one to, uh, to be honest. Uh, it, it's breaking to new highs. We If we can get a 20 break on it, yeah, it, it probably could run, but, you know, I've said it so many times before. I mean, it's already had four green days, and if you look at the chart history, you know, you'll have, especially because it, it, they've been fair size days, uh, I will expect a pullback, but I'll, I'll be watching. And if I do get a pullback, I, I don't know if I'll stay in it all that long. IMMU, uh, they have a shareholders meeting coming up. To determine whether or not there is going to be an offering. Uh, we all know how that's going to fucking go now, don't we? Uh, they're obviously looking to raise money. So I'm expecting this to ramp up in uh, in price. They'll obviously, uh, they'll they'll send out some sort of fluff PRs or new, uh, news and uh, uh, they'll come up with something to drive the price as high as they can to, to release those shares, to sell off those shares. EXAS, this popped up right at the end of the day here. I'll throw on the intraday chart, the one minute. And uh, Mo and I were watching this, and it was crazy. Like, the way it was just kept, it would run up and then gap up. Run up, gap down, then gap up. Price action was crazy. So, um, it, it is up on some good news. I don't have that in front of me right now, but uh, I'm sure you can do your own due diligence. Um but I, I will be looking for this for a, a possible pop to uh, after hours highs and then short. So that that's about oh no actually one more one more uh, SPI. I'm looking uh, even though it's kind of on de delisting notice. You know 
people don't really new, read news or anything like that. Uh, they just kind of buy shit. So I will be watching SPI for a mid candle breakout. Uh, it would be nice if the nine would move up just that little bit more to bounce off of, and then uh, we we should get some sort of a, a pop as long as it holds that one dollar area. So we'll we'll kind of see. It's just more of a back burner play. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the watch list for tonight. Again, I will obviously update it uh, depending on what's moving pre market. Um, so. Uh, I hope everyone enjoys the watch list. I'm very proud of my watch list. Um, and uh, I hope to see everyone in Trick Trades uh, trading chat room and screen share tomorrow. So please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, feel free to leave me a comment. Thanks, guys.